So the Biden administration just signed a new bill, which results in a 30% tax on ammunition originating from Russia and Belarus. This will likely further drive up the ammunition costs here in the U.S. So let's talk about this. But real quick before we jump into this video, if you think the Biden administration needs to stop violating our rights to keep and bear arms, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Also, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Aura. Many of you likely share your Netflix password, your Hulu password, or other online passwords to other people. The average person has about 90 accounts, but we don't tend to use 90 different passwords for all those accounts. Instead, we recycle and reuse all those passwords. Well, if someone gets their hand on one of your passwords, that likely means that they have access to a whole slew of your accounts. And if you think that will never happen to you, just keep in mind that America and its consumers lost about $56 billion in 2020 alone due to identity theft. Aura provides identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, VPNs, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app. Aura monitors the dark web for your email, passwords, and social security numbers and sends alerts directly to your phone or email anytime your information is compromised. And it does this all through an easy to use app. In this community, we talk about ways to protect ourselves and our loved ones, but we forget the change in technology also requires us to adapt to all these new types of threats. Aura helps you to adapt to the times and keep your information safe. If you're interested, you can try Aura free for two weeks by clicking the link down in the details section. And once again, I wanna thank Aura for sponsoring this video. So like I said in the intro, President Biden just signed a new bill into law, which will result in a 30% additional duty slash tax on all ammunition which originates from Russia and comes into the US. Earlier this month, Biden signed into law HR 7108, which is also known as the Suspending Normal Trade Relations with Russia and Belarus Act. The act states that notwithstanding any other provision of law, beginning on the day after the date of the enactment of this act, the rates of duty set forth in column two of the harmonized tariff schedule of the United States shall apply to all products of the Russian Federation and the Republic of Belarus. The act also states that the president may proclaim increases in the rates of duty above the rates set forth in column two of the harmonized tariff schedule of the United States if he chooses, but he will first need to consult with the Committee of Ways and Means and the Committee on Finance. So under this act that was signed into law, a set schedule of duty slash tax increases will be applied to all products that are originating from Russia and Belarus. Biden can also increase those amounts if he chooses, but he will need to consult with various committees before he actually does that. Now, if you look at the harmonized tariff schedule, it states that cartridges and other ammunition projectiles and parts thereof, including shot and cartridges, are subject to 30% duties. So all ammunition and ammunition parts originating from those two nations will be subject to an additional 30% duty when they come into the US. This will be on top of the 11% federal excise tax rate that they're currently subject to as well. So that amounts to a 41% kind of duty tax that all ammunition originating from these nations will be subject to once they come to the US. This means that because of this act, Russian originating ammunition will likely be subject to at least double costs. So you will see an increase of at least double the price in the US. Keep in mind that last year, Biden placed additional direct sanctions on Russia and ammunition as well. Last year, Biden announced that the new and pending permit applications for the permanent importation of firearms and ammunition manufactured or located in Russia will be subject to a policy of denial. So any new applications for ammunition importation into the US have been subject to denials. Some companies have some already approved applications and existing permits, so they will still be able to import Russian ammunition based on those uh, permits that they kind of had through already. But now once those imports will hit the US, they will be subject to an additional 30% duty. In relation to this new act, I saw some estimates that 762 by 39 steel case ammunition is averaging around 37 cents per round currently right now. But the expectation in the industry is that the rise in the cost will likely go up to 64 cents per round because of this act. Russian steel case 9mm could go from 28 cents per round all the way up to 48 cents per round because of this act. So based on that, why is the industry expecting cost of ammunition originating out of Russia to jump at least 70%? Well, that's because if the cost is 30% to import and an additional 30% to import, then that needs to be sold at a markup to those stores and companies who are actually going to purchase that ammunition that the importer is bringing in because the importer has to make some money. Well, then those companies and stores that actually are purchasing from that importer, 
they're going to mark it up as well so that they can sell it at a profit because they have to make some money as well on the sale. And so then the customers are going to see this compounded cost and this increase in ammunition because everybody needs a little bit of increase. But when that baseline goes up because of this 30% duty, that cost essentially is then trickled down to the consumer. Plus, you also have companies like Vista Outdoors, who holds Winchester and Remington, who recently announced that they will be applying an 8% increase in ammunition prices as well, just on their own. So that on top of growing demand here nationally and also globally is just going to result in higher costs in addition with this 30% duty. Remember, there is also international factors that are leading to less ammunition on the marketplace. Various U.S. companies are sending ammunition to Europe and European nations right now are currently buying up a ton of ammunition. And all of this is going to compound to less supply, higher demand, and the direct result is going to be increased prices. So I just wanted to put the signing of this act onto your radar because it will impact ammunition prices maybe eventually. If you find some ammunition that you think is a good value, good price right now, it might be a good idea to buy it. I'm not saying by any means that you need to go rush out to all of your stores, try to purchase ammunition right now, just buy everything you can find. That's not smart either. Just be aware of what's going on right now, how and why prices likely will be going up, and just keep your eye on the prices. And if they go up, you kind of know why. So once again, Biden and his administration are hurting the exercise of the Second Amendment and our rights, and nothing is new. They did this last year with these sanctions, and they're just going to add on to sanctions, add on to these duties and taxes. And again, the trickle down is mainly going to hurt us, the consumers in the U.S. It's not going to hurt the nation of Russia or Belarus. It's not actually going to hurt them at all. It's going to hurt us more. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Algor's rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and it signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. Again, I want to thank everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, who hits the notification bell, who shares these videos. You guys are directly impacting these videos, impacting this channel and helping me to reach and educate more people than I could ever do on my own. So thank you so much for all of your support. If you don't have a comment in mind, just comment down below that you comment you fuel the algorithm and that really does help these videos. Also want to mention that if you're not currently subscribed, please consider subscribing. We are marching towards 300,000 subscribers, and I would love to actually reach 300,000 subscribers by my three-year anniversary on YouTube. So that would be amazing. Consider subscribing. But regardless, thank you for your support. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget to stay with Built Barm Scholars and the station we maintain Barm Scholars.